guys welcome back to the channel so glad you can join me I'm back at the beach I can't wait to get back down there so bad as a matter of fact that I even set my alarm on my day off and as usual yes I am racing the tide once again like it's low tide right now which gives me a good three maybe four hours to test a few layers and see if I can find those good rich gold deposits that I'm so desperately looking for. <laughs> Let's get down there and find that gold, baby. And no, I didn't forget. It's Gold Hunter 77. Thanks for coming with me. Looky here, I got my brand new rubber boots. I didn't forget them today. And I tell you what, they feel great. Sometimes I get so busy taking all this video, I forget what my main goal is. I need to get my butt down there and get that gold before this tide comes in. Look at the size of that jellyfish. There's my hand. That thing's bigger than a damn flapjack. Look at the purple in it. That's the biggest jellyfish I've seen down here. Now we actually have a pretty big tide today almost eight feet that's comparable to like smaller high tides of six feet which means i'd imagine it will come all the way up to the cliff sides and just in case you're wondering that would be an escape route yeah not much of an escape route if those high tides or a sneaker wave rolls in i would somehow have to manage my way up that cliff the problem with testing on the beach is that the black sands move constantly. So what might have been good color last week might have vanished today. That's the problem. You pretty much got to dig the same spot that you're testing good on today. Down the beach we go, way down there way 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 down there I swear I just saw a shark fin out there a little to the left oh oh there he is can you see him Look, right there. Here he comes. Whoa, there is just jellyfish everywhere. These are humongous. Humongous. I'm gonna have to find out what type these are. Maybe why they're washing up. They look alive. I mean, I'm not like a jellyfish expert, but Still got good color to them. Yep, brought my lucky testing spoon today. Keep that up and uh, we're hoping for at least five colors for a good spoonful. All right, let's go ahead and Take our test spoon here. That's about a good tablespoon. So we're really hoping for at least five colors. Let's go down to our little hole here real quick.
one, baby. Well, I saw one color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're tiny, but they're there. There's at least 10 colors, so it's gonna be a good spot. Here, as you can see, I have my pond dug out so I can get my buckets of water, put them in my mobile panning station. All right, finally found me a little patch. That is the stuff right there. Black and red sands. Not much. I mean, there's probably a decent little layer down there, but it's sitting on bedrock, so that's probably good. I have about six to eight inches of overburden to clear. And it seems like it gets thicker and better color further up towards the rocks. fun had Chet come up had a talk with him I've never met him before I'm just saying his name like I've known him for 20 years <laughs> but it's fun to meet people on the beach or anywhere for that matter and we were talking about tides and rocks and gold and it was cool man so I want to give a special shout out to Chet if you're watching this video hope to see you again buddy see you later Chet My biggest fear right here is a sneaker wave that would come all the way up here, take my cart, take my bucket, shovel, my chair, everything, my tripod, and I'd be lucky to scurry up that cliff. <laughs> oh, we got the old beach walkers. I think I know this guy and his two dogs. We'll see when he comes up here. Yep, that tide is just creeping on in already. I don't even think it's 11 yet. However, my first bucket is almost done and processed down to just my rich black sand, gold laden cons, and I would hope to get one more bucket. If I am able to process this before the tide comes in, I will have twice as many cons as last time. You know what? That's just a little too close for comfort. I really need to get the hell out of here. Chased out again. I tell you, it'd be nice to have four or five hours here instead of just two. But I did get some good material, so let's get this back home and take a look. too close for such a high tide of about eight feet you can see the wet sand right here that only leaves me in some spots 20 feet to the cliff there is some amazing rocks here too there is jasper and agate and moss agate quartz petrified wood all this God. Oh my God, are you kidding me? What the hell is that thing? It's the Kraken. Run. Look 
at that. The ocean is traveling upstream. That is cool, man. Woo! Oh boy, it's getting deep. I gotta get out of here. Wow, it went way up here. That almost went over my boots. That's how powerful that ocean is. Right up this creek, no problem. Hell, look at that. Throw driftwood clear up there. Come up over these banks. That was a little more than I thought. That almost went off my boots. All right, so there's my hard-earned bounty. That's about a gallon. I'd say a little bit more than a gallon. Probably a gallon and a half of concentrates. So I took more time and panned them down the best I could out of two buckets. Ooh, mama. All right, that was a pretty good workout. I had a lot of fun. And I'm really glad I had those boots on or my feet would be soaked right now. So you can never go wrong with a pair of rubber boots. Let's get back to the house and get this thing panned out, shall we? We are having a great start. I still have about a gallon left of material. And I am seeing some fantastic gold here. As you can see, we're already building up on those golden lines. The white specks will be platinum and the rest is gold. Look at that trail of gold to the right. That is pretty darn good color though and I still have a ways to go. All right, going good. We're about halfway through these concentrates. It's taking me about an hour. But that's damn fast with this gutter sluice. Now with the Blue Bowl and the Black Magic, you really gotta baby those. Like minimal water flow, teaspoon at a time, maybe a tablespoon. Uh, this gutter sluice is just getting with it. I think it's unbeatable myself. I gotta tell you what folks, I'm only halfway through these concentrates and I am seeing gold everywhere. This is definitely better than my last haul. That is looking phenomenal. Again, I'm only halfway through those concentrates. All right, guys, it's been about two hours. It takes a long time to run these beach concentrates. Requires a lot of patience, but the gold is looking awesome. Let's have a look. Now, this is from two buckets. Oh yeah, starting to build up. We ain't even to the good stuff yet. We ain't even to the good stuff yet. I'm telling you what. <laughs> lines and lines and lines of gold. It's getting kind of thick right there too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Two buckets. Rock the party non stop like this. Turn up, rock the party non stop like this. Turn up, rock, rock the non stop like this. Turn up, rock the party non stop like this. Turn up, rock, 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 like this. Turn up, rock the party non stop like this. Turn up, rock, 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 like this. Turn up, rock, 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 r
uh, maybe maybe a point two, point one, point two, probably closer to point one. It takes a lot to add up. So the thing about beach mining for me is it's just so much fun. I love it. It'd be nice to get some weight, but hey, I'm just in it for the thrill of it. <laughs> I have people asking me, is that enough gold to make a wedding ring? No, absolutely not. You would need much, much more. Is that enough gold to make an earring? Maybe not, a big knot. You would need much more gold. How much gold would you need? Oh, if I had to guess, I'd say a couple grams. I wanted to give a special shout out to everybody who joined my live earlier. That would include Prospector, Jason E. Miner, Ralphie Boy, Secret Creek, Jason D., Patriot Prospecting, Gold Adventures, Colorado, Scovian Goes Outdoors, Crushing the Game, Levi, Whitker the Day Guy, what? Okay, Elijah, Kenneth Green, and GS Prospecting. A couple of you were not in that live, but I included you anyways because you're legit. You're cool. You got channels. And I love you guys. Till next time. It doesn't feel real. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't feel real.